Well, for millions of people, Memorial Day weekend is the start of summer with fishing and swimming, but those activities can come with a risk. The state fire marshal's office says you should use extra caution around marinas to avoid potential tragedy. 10 News reporter Krista Lucas shares what to do if you or your loved one is caught in a current with electricity. Water splashing at the coast, the smell of fresh fish and hanging out at a marina brings joy to many. For Jessica McClure, this joy was turned into tragedy. You know, I died July 4, 2012 at German Creek Marina. He was swimming um, near the boat dock, swimming in water, and the water became electrified. Her son was 10 years old. He died alongside his good friend, Nate. Oh boy, fun loving. He, you know, I always said if no had been my first, he'd been my last. He wore me out. He was always looking for fun, but he also had a good heart. In 2014, McClure helped pass the Noah Dean and Nate Act into law. Her biggest challenge... Thinking about his last thoughts, you know, did he hurt? Did he cry? Did he want for us? Did he even know what was going on? Electricity can leak into the water from a boat or a marina. If you see someone drowning and it's electric shock drowning... Don't jump in. You First of all, you call 911. You need to shut off the power source that's electrifying the water. Then get the life preserver to the person who's drowning. If you hang out at a marina, look for a sign like this one and avoid that area. If a marina doesn't have a sign like this, then they may be violating Tennessee law and you can report it at the state fire marshal's office. Today, Noah's mother continues to advocate for safety. He died, but we're gonna do something about it. We're gonna, we're gonna try to help this doesn't, this doesn't happen to other people. And right now on WBIR.com, we have more information on how to stay safe and enjoy the holidays.